Your Royal Highness, though there is a moral question, and it's something that a lot of us have been talking about over the last several days here at the World Government Summit, um, which is, of course, the invasion of Ukraine. How do you respond to the critics of OPEC at this point who say you have a moral responsibility Absolutely, we have to reject this, Russia as have, a member? All of, most, all of well, what I know about Saudi Arabia is that we have voted at the UN clearly, emphatically, we, along with so many uh, of our friends, I think we also did that. Uh, and we have really separated the issue. The moral, ethical, political thing, I think there is a platform and there is a forum for it, and we discharge our own beliefs, uh, which is consistent with everybody's belief, as far as I know. Now, when it comes to OPEC+, Plus, uh, OPEC as OPEC priority, and I would take that privilege of saying I've been at it for the last 35 years, and I know how we managed to compartmentalize our political differences from what is good for the common good or the common good of all of us. That culture seeped into OPEC+. Plus. Yes. So when we get into that OPEC meeting room or OPEC building, as you may recall, everybody leaves his politics at the outside door of that building. And that culture has been with us. So if we don't do that, we would not have dealt with so many countries at different times. Could have been with Iraq at one point, it could have been with Iran at one point, it could have been with others as Saudi Arabia. Uh, the reason we have managed to maintain OPEC and maintain OPEC Plus is we discuss these matters and these issues in an entirely, entirely silo type of approach whereby we are much more focused on the common good regardless of the politics.